Okay guys, finally we can create a high quality meta human performances without any depth camera. For example, I am opening my eyes, I am raising my eyebrows, I am smiling, I am sad, I am angry, and everything is without a depth camera. See for example how we can achieve this. Uh, actually we will create the depth frames with a plugin. So let's see. Okay guys a few words before we start. Actually this video is gonna be more like about the plugin uh, that I have created. Uh, but if you know coding and Python still you can watch my previous video and you can create your own depth frames for free. Uh, but if you get this plugin and actually you can do everything in the in engine itself and it makes uh, the things much more easier uh, So for example, I will start with the manual installation guide If you have downloaded the plugin from a different source instead of fab marketplace Probably you will get uh, something like a zip folder So the only thing that you need to do is actually you need to extract the zip and you will get this FDF Manser uh, folder just copy it and you need to go to your engine folder for example in my case it has program files epic games here I have the engines for example I'm using 5.5 .5 version of the plugin I will go to 5.5 .5 and engine and plugins and I will find marketplace uh, folder here if you don't have it you can still go and create a new folder but if you have installed uh, any plugin before probably you will have this uh, folder already so the only thing that you need to do is paste this FDF Mansur here in the plugins marketplace folder and that's it uh, for this uh, demo purpose actually I will be using 5.5 Burge version uh, of the Unreal Engine because uh, why not it just <laughs> it just works but uh, it also works with uh, 5.4 still you can use it and I will just create a new a project. I will call it that frame Mansor and nothing else. Uh, I will just create. So let's start from scratch. So I hope uh, you guys will not miss anything. So once uh, our project is opened, uh, I will go to plugins and I will enable what I need. For example, in installed folder, probably you will see this one and I will enable this uh, face depth frame mansor if you don't see it and you can search it and find it i will also enable metahuman plugin which is the uh, official uh, epic games metahuman uh, plugin uh, which is an experimental version so if you don't have it you can go to fab marketplace and uh, install and download this metahuman plugin because uh, for creating metahuman performances uh, we need this plugin uh, so uh, instead of restarting I will also uh, go to a Quixel Bridge here and I will import one of my metahumans so Unreal Engine uh, will try to uh, enable the other required uh, plugins for me I will go to my metahumans for example I have this guy which I created uh, for 5.5 .5 version and I will add into my project so once it is done actually you will see this metahuman folder with this guy and I will try to open uh, this blueprint so Unreal Engine uh, will try to understand uh, you have missing plugins so I can enable them I will click enable missing enable missing and for this one I will call don't import and actually we can restart the engine now so uh, for the first time if you open uh, the project after you enabling these plugins probably it will take uh, a bit time uh, because uh, the plugin needs to install some Python packages but it is gonna be uh, uh, it will happen only one time so if you open the second time it is gonna be open to normally so it might say generating Python types and 5.4 version it might say initializing Python plugin uh, whatever uh, but just be patient and it will be okay okay so for example our um, projects is opened so uh, actually we can directly start right away so for example I have uh, some videos here for example this one you heard it initially in the beginning of the video and I have uh, different uh, expression videos or whatsoever as you can see these are uh, mp4 files 
and there is no depth data at all because we will create them uh, with the plugin so here in content folder the first thing i will do i will uh, create a new level because i hate this uh, open world stuff so this is nice i will also let's get it uh, showcase and here i will create a new folder which will be uh, no depth let's say performance and here for example the initial idea is I need to create a metahuman identity and I will be using this video to create my metahuman identity so uh, I will create a new folder I will call it identity so uh, I can actually drag and drop this mp4 files to my content so it will create a file media source for you so just right click on it and you will see scripted asset action and click extract video frames it will also ask you if you want to extract the audio with it but for identity videos it is not necessary so i will call it no and it will extract uh, the frames and also it will create uh, an image uh, media source for example here we can uh, open it and we can display it so it is there in the engine now and it also if the unreal engine asks you if you want to import them click uh, don't import i will also click don't ask again and don't import because unreal engine realized that we actually extract this jpeg files in your content so it tries to import them as textures but uh, we don't need them as textures so i will click my image media source and i will go scripted asset action and start creating depth frames so it will uh, create another uh, unreal engine tab it might come uh, anywhere actually but uh, most most of the time i just put it uh, right there so uh, we have some uh, parameters and some actions here so the first thing uh, you will realize that video frame source should be set and actually i can preview one of my frames and i can actually see how my depth from a depth frame uh, is going to be like for example here the only thing that i need to be aware of here is uh, i need to make sure that it is overlapping with my face Maybe you just uh, took the video uh, from a different angle or whatsoever. Just try to adjust these parameters. Most of the time you need to play around with this face area margin or maybe face area scalar or maybe rotation angles. The other things are actually uh, you can hover them and you can uh, read the descriptions. And if you are happy with the result, just click convert images to depth frames. And also it will create uh, your depth frames with this. Okay, now actually we have uh, converted all our frames to depth frames. If you click OK, you will see another image media source, which will be a uh, depth uh, media source. So, uh, actually I can create a capture data footage uh, right away, because it will set uh, video frame source and depth frame source automatically. And if you click this one, and it will create a capture data footage for you. I will just save all, just in case. And here, actually, I can create my MetaHuman uh, identity from now on. I will call it MHI Identity. And if we open it, and uh, I will also put it near my level, I will create components, and from footage, I have only one footage, I will select my identity. And it will load our uh, capture data here, as you can see. And here we can click here and click depth mesh to display how the depth mesh is looking like actually it looks very nice so here uh, i will start promoting frames for example this one looks fine for front and i will also click here i will get another frame here like uh, like a front left on right and also if you want you can also add a neat teeth pose here for example if you click add and pose at teeth i will also click somewhere here probably i'm showing my teeth uh, i will uh, actually this is that's it i can and then i will click meta human solve meta human identity solve and after this is finished i actually i can create a uh, the human identity but first i need to go to body and select uh, any one of these and i will click authoric the meta human identity so it needs to communicate with the meta human backend so uh, you need to uh, put your email address and password here 
Okay, so when you have entered your credentials, it will try to go to MetaHuman backend and it will create your MetaHuman identity. Okay, now actually our skeletal mesh is ready. We can also open our skeletal mesh just to see. So I will just control S to save it and see if we have uh, this metahuman identity. And after that, actually, we need to prepare it for performance. So uh, I will click. And in that sense, uh, we will be ready for creating uh, metahuman performances with this identity from now on. Okay. Actually, now the performance is ready. I will just control S just to make sure that I'm saving the current state. And uh, we have the identity and everything that we need. Actually, I will go here and I will create another folder, which will be my uh, performance video. So let's say head movement. I will uh, try to use uh, this kind of uh, video to make the performance. So let's get this one like we did i will just drag and drop here at moment i will right click script assets and extract video frames for this case let's also extract the audio and here we got the frames and audio as well if you want to play it you will see it here let's also save them all and i will click right click this one and script asset action start creating depth frames and it will also set the audio and everything. I will also click preview to see how uh, the depth mesh looks like. And I think it looks fine. I will just convert them to depth frames. Okay, actually our depth frames are ready. So it also created uh, another source and everything is set. So the only thing I need to do, I need to click this generate capture data footage and I get uh, this capture data. Let's also try to save all. And here in head movement, actually I will go back and I will create my MetaHuman performances here. I will go to MetaHuman animator and MetaHuman performance. I will call it MP like head movement and I will open it. And here uh, I will select my head movement capture data and I will select my MetaHuman identity. It will also ask uh, if you want to use uh, this clock source to switch it because I have the audio. And actually, the only thing that I need to do is click process, that's it. Uh, but before we clicking it, actually here in the head movement mode is transform track. I'm mostly using trying to use control rig before because I want to uh, get the bone transforms for head movements so I will just click the head movement mode to control rig and actually that's that's probably it just click process and watch the magic And boom, actually it is ready. We can directly watch it. And that's it. And you can actually, we can export it on animation or level sequence. I will try to go with level sequence because I can also select my metahuman. Uh, just wherever it is, I will just save. I will also select my guy here which is a BP Kevin will also select this guy and actually probably that's it I will just go and create and actually this is ready we can just go here and for example I will save it save them uh, save everything all and I will get my level sequence into my level and I will go here and open it Actually, we can close the content browser from now on. I will just uh, working with the sequencer here, for example. We have this 
uh, capture directly. We can also see it uh, from the camera perspective. So for example, it is overlaps with my uh, identity. I can also uh, hide it from here. I will also select uh, this uh, plane and I will try to put it somewhere here so we can watch it. And actually this is, yeah, the only missing thing is it uh, doesn't solve the tongue for now. But probably I will be working uh, with this and I will try to make it work later on. But overall, it, it works. It works really nice. And also if you want to have like uh, some stuff to make it interesting. You can add some lights over here. For example, here looks very nice. Actually, we can directly create another one if you want, but I think that's good for a demonstration. Actually, there's one more thing about the plugin uh, regarding the settings action. Actually, you can save this face tap map parameters and camera parameters somewhere in your content. For example, if you click save settings, if you open your content, there is an editor only folder which holds an object of these settings actually so actually you can right click and if you want to migrate it and you can just put it uh, any project that you want to uh, create depth frames maybe you are working with the same videos and you don't want to set them every time so uh, here you have some uh, option for it so maybe you are trying to make some improvements and you realize that you actually fucked up and you can save lots of things and it will uh, get your these settings uh, about uh, the save location, actually you have some uh, option if you go to your project settings and if you go to plugins here, you will find face tap frame mancer and actually you can configure where to, uh, where to save and uh, what is the save object asset name. Actually that's, that's basically it for the plugin I think. So if you have any other questions, problems, issues or like whatever if you want to uh, talk with me maybe you have different ideas to make this process even better just you can contact me from discord or uh, from social media anywhere most of the time i'm available and i will be happy to talk with you guys then probably that's that's it and see you see you later <laughs>